Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 430 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The search and rescue operation at the site of the Russian strike on a multi-story building in Uman has been completed, reports Radio Liberty. 23 people were killed in the attack, including six children, and nine people were injured. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked the state emergency service, the national police, doctors, human utility services, the military, volunteers, everyone who took part in the rescue operation and helped the rescued people. He promised that Ukraine will do everything to make the terrorist state answer as soon as possible for what it has done. Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the next week will be quite important from the point of view of the struggle for justice for Ukrainians and for punishment for the terrorist state and all its war criminals. He specified that they will be about creating a tribunal for the crime of Russian aggression. It is not enough for Ukraine and the world that Russia is weak, as it is already happening. It must fully answer for everything it has done, stressed the president. Zelensky informed that Ukraine is also preparing new sanctions against individuals and companies involved in Russia's defense industry and against foreign entities. President Volodymyr Zelensky is confident that Ukraine cannot delay the campaign to liberate its territories until partners provide F-16 fighter jets, so the counteroffensive should begin earlier, reports Ukrainska Pravda. In an interview with Scandinavian journalist, Zelensky said that we still have a few months before starting training on jets, but Ukraine won't wait and will begin sooner. The president added that Ukraine has been preparing for a counteroffensive. He believes that the counteroffensive will be a success and Ukraine will finally liberate its territories, including Crimea. However, it requires weapons to preserve more lives. Zelensky said that there were moments when Ukraine's partners were letting the country down regarding supplying equipment. At the same time, he emphasized that there should be no fear of Russia's reaction to the provision of the aircraft. The worst thing has already happened. They did begin a full-scale war, stressed the president. The Supreme Commander-in-Chief also stressed the impact of the weather on the start of the counteroffensive. The German media Bild informs that Ukrainian special forces are being trained in several locations of the Bundeswehr in Germany for the upcoming counteroffensive against Russian forces, reports European Pravda. They are taught to conduct local, urban battles and operate behind enemy lines. In order to increase the chances of Ukrainians winning, the attack on entrenched opponents is also practiced. In general, a four-digit number of Ukrainian soldiers have been trained in Germany, in particular a three-digit number of crews of Leopard 1 tanks over the past week. An oil depot caught fire in Sevastopol in Russian-occupied Crimea, reports RBK Ukraine. According to the local occupational authorities, the fire at the fuel storage facility was caused by a drone strike on the night of 29th of April. The Ukrainian general staff informs that as a result of a large-scale fire, 10 oil tanks with a total capacity of about 40,000 tons were destroyed. In connection with this, panicked rumors about the inability of Russian air defense to ensure the safety of its own strategic objects spread through the city. The general staff adds that the burning oil depot was used to fuel the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which launched missile strikes on peaceful Ukrainian cities. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.